Hello there, Scorpio and Scorpio Rising. Welcome to your April 2015 Rune Scope with me. My name is Amanda. As always, just to remind you to check out the video for your rising sun as well. If you know it, that can give you some more information on these very general sun sign readings. Um, in fact, sometimes your rising sign is more specific. Uh, to you than your sun sign. Of course, the only way to get a reading only for you and not every other Scorpio watching this video, which tends to be a lot. Uh, Scorpios tend to like to check out their uh, YouTube videos, apparently. Uh, drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video to set up an appointment. Um, just tap the arrow underneath this video to open the details section if you're on a mobile device. And my email, uh, you'll find that there along with all my other details. I do my readings on Skype. It's $65 for a 30-minute session, in case I didn't say that before. I also wanted to mention that I will also be doing another online rune class. Uh, it will be June 1st through July 10th. It's a six-week course, and it's $185 for the, for the full six weeks. So if that's something you'd be interested in doing, again, just email me. Uh, drop me a line at that same email address, and uh, I'll send you the details or, or get you signed up. Um, you will need to devote about four or five hours per week to that. So make sure that you will have time. There, there are lectures to watch and homework assignments with that. So um, just make sure that it, you will have the time to devote to that if you want to sign up. But let's jump in to April Scorps and see what's going on for you. And yes, I do have pink hair. You're not seeing things. I got bored one Saturday and this is what happened. And who knows what the future holds. My hair may be all sorts of different colors. I'm just, you know, in, in a bit of an experimental reinvention phase. Some of them may be, may be better than others, just as a warning. Okay, let's see what the tarot wants to add here for you guys. Okay, so focus, Scorpio, for April 2015. Uh, well, the tarot card we've got here is the Five of Swords in reverse. So, there may be a bit of a no-win situation happening here. Um, yeah. There's just, um, without a shake-up, without some sort of disruption kind of shaking up the pieces here, um, there's really uh, nobody's winning in this situation. But with Hagalas here, it could be that in April, the things get shook up. So if there has been a stagnant situation that has been less than ideal, if it's a situation you couldn't quite get a handle on, you couldn't quite um, get the upper hand in, or that you couldn't maybe make amends with, or, or couldn't reconcile in some way. There could be some information that comes to light that really shakes this up and finally gets this moving again. So again, this would have been something that's been caught up for a while. And uh, maybe this started in March and you're just kind of dealing with, because we ha I know we had that final square of uh, two planets. Um, I know Pluto was involved, but I, I, I think the other one might have been Uranus, Uranus-Pluto square. Um, and it's definitely a big shaker-upper. <laughs> uh, so uh, anytime you're dealing with Uranus or Pluto, it, it's a big transformative. Those are two very transformative planets, but usually in unexpected ways. So um, that could have started in March and in April, Scorpio, uh, you're just so if you're watching this on the March side, you may already know what I'm talking about. But um, for those of you who don't experience it in March, maybe it comes in April. Um, so, but I, I feel like I don't feel like this is uh, negative. I feel like it's positive to get this moving again because the other cards and runes that you have here are, are, are pointing in a good direction here. So, yeah, I, I, if there's been a situation where it was a stalemate or where it was kind of, you know. Um, I won't give, well, I'm not going to give either. You could have two very stubborn people 
on either side of this. And Scorpio, one of them may be you. You're known for that. You are a fixed sign and you can become fixed in your viewpoint, but it feels like this other person that you're involved with is as well. So you, maybe there's been a, um, a, a distance or a separation or, or somebody that you have, uh, you know, um, this could be very real in the sense of a divorce or a separation or somebody that you just, um, maybe there was no fix to a situation, but you're gonna be getting information that uh, has been hidden that shakes this up. And I feel like for the most part, this is coming from the other side, Scorpio. Now for some of you, it could be information that you feel, oh God, I don't want that to come out, but then it comes out. And for some of you, it could come out, again, in a legal sense. Uh, that's been coming up for you guys for months. So, um, you know, but I mean, it, it could be that your lawyer finds hidden stuff that finally gets this moving or, or finally kind of ends this stalemate or whatever and, and is allow, allows things to be balanced. Um, but yeah, there's a shakeup. And uh, there does seem to be, with Thurisas in the reverse though, it does indicate that somebody is maybe still unwilling to compromise uh, still, even in the midst of, you know, information coming to light or things they've been trying very high that may even be embarrassing or uh, hidden secret skeletons in the closet kind of energy because we have Pedro in the reverse here, Mark Stave. That means, you know, secrets somebody was trying to hide, information they did not want getting out coming out. And this could indicate that they are still being stubborn about this though but they're going to to lose because uh you know with this in the reverse this path is um it's really it's a no win they're not gonna win it's a no win situation so scorpio for you what they're saying is if you are in a situation like this engaging with and arguing with this person is no longer conducive for you i mean it's 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 uh, again there are going to be no winners, only losers on all sides. So it's better to just distance yourself from this, to end it, to settle, to do whatever you need to do to get out of this situation. Um, I do feel like whatever secrets that come to light or whatever hidden information comes to light is going to shake this up. But it may just be in this sense of... Um, for you to say, okay, well, I'm done with this. Given this, he can be, he or she can be as stubborn as they want, but we're going to end this in April. We're putting an end to this situation uh, in April. The help that's going to be available to you uh, with judgment card in the reverse is that I feel like once April is over, this situation is not going to rear its head again. So this is done for most of you in April. Um, there will be no resurrection of this. Um, there will be no going back to this. For some of you, this is a relationship that maybe has been on again, off again. There will be no going back to this after April for most of you, Scorpio. And for some of you, that's going to be a good thing because I feel like there's somebody new in your life already. Many of you already have a new relationship forming or someone that you're, you're interested in or who's interested in you uh, and who wants to... Um, move things forward, but maybe you've been waiting on this, especially if it's a divorce or separation. Maybe they, this person has been waiting to make a move or waiting to get romantic with you, or the two of you have had to wait to solidify your relationship because of this. So I do see this being able to move forward, and that's kind of where you're at. It's like, you know what? I'm sick of this. Whatever. Let's just end this so I can move on with my life, <laughs> and so I can I can get this moving and and and. Um, go where I want to go with this new relationship or this new partnership. Um, now, I, I do feel like a lot of you will be getting, um, some of you may be traveling in, in April, and that may be how you meet someone new. If there's no one new on your radar, Scorpio, those of you who are single and looking, uh, you may meet someone new in, in April while traveling or while moving because this can also be the rune of, of moving. So it's very possible that in the process of that, maybe it's a new neighbor, uh, you, could, you could meet someone um, new that has relationship potential. This could be uh, somebody that, you know, a friend or, or a family member that you're just taking a break, maybe you're going on spring break or traveling with. Um, some of you may be dealing with a family situation. Maybe that this is a person in your family that you don't see eye to eye with. And I feel like maybe you're going to um, 
<laughs> there may be something in April where you have to be around this person. So maybe a family event, maybe you're getting together for Easter or, or, or Good Friday. Um, you know, and, and maybe your kids are getting together or something and you have to see this person. But I don't feel like these issues will be resurrected. So um, I, I don't feel like you'll have to deal uh, with that. Um, but Scorpio, there's, there's a lot of energy around for new love and new relationships, new partnerships. They don't have to be romantic. This could be a business partnership also uh, coming up in April. Um, but if it is a job opportunity, I do feel like travel would be associated with it. Or you may be traveling a lot, uh, um, you know, short commutes for this, this job. Uh, it may involve, uh, maybe the interview process is just a lot of trips to interview. But um, definitely see you in your car running around in April if you're working on um, either a new relationship or, uh, or a business partnership. Maybe this is a relationship that's kind of long distance to start with or... or um, this is somebody you met online or something and you're having to do like a long distance situation. But um, either way, it looks positive. And uh, the ghosts from the past, they're saying, are better buried in the past. And uh, if you can let go of that and not resurrect old issues, old conflicts, that's going to be the best help to you. Um, and I do feel like you're starting a new phase, turning over a new leaf with any conflicts with people where you've had disagreements or issues uh, whether or not the justice system was involved or not, there's a balancing coming. And uh, April may be the first month where you feel that, really. Things starting to tip. Because maybe things have been like this. And now things are, are starting to, to tip. Um, I kind of feel like, Scorpio, that, that a lot of this is out of your control. It rests on this other person. And it's kind of like, you know what, if you want to carry this grudge around forever, that's your business. If you, That's on you. If you want to constantly, you know, deal with that. Because really, people who hold grudges and hold on to negativity that way, the only person that it hurts is the person holding on to that, Scorpio. And that's one of your lessons as a Scorpio. Because you can do that, especially uh, in your younger years. But hopefully, as you get older, uh, you do learn to let that go and that, you know, holding resentments and, and, and uh, constantly being after revenge, uh, you know, the only person that that hurts is the person who's holding it. Sometimes the other person doesn't even know. But in, your, in this case, Scorpio, I feel like for a lot of you, this is the other person. That's their business if they want to hold on and resent you for something that it seems for in a lot of cases, this is something trivial too. Um, for some of you, it's not, but then for a lot of you, I do feel like it's over something silly, like something you said that was taken the wrong way or some, somebody else's perception that is off for, it could be for a lot of different reasons. Uh, but, um, yeah, I feel like maybe it's just a misunderstanding and then it, things snowball sometimes and, um, it, it's all rather trivial. Uh, when you look at it from the bigger perspective, which is where we all ultimately end up looking at things when we're done with our lessons here on Earth. Uh, so yeah, how trivial is this going to look? <laughs> it can be difficult for us to kind of think that way and get into that perception because we're so you know stuck here and in these bodies and in the physical. But... Um, Sometimes you'll get glimpses and you'll be like, you know what, if I'm on my deathbed and thinking about this and we don't talk for all these years over this stupidity, you know, and, and I mean, you can really get some perspective on things like that. So, uh, and maybe some of you need to enlighten this other person about that. Maybe you just send an email saying, you know what, this is silly. It would be silly if we don't continue not speaking and lose this relationship and all the good stuff we had over this idiocy <laughs> or over you being stubborn. Um, I just want you to think about that. Um, but yeah, I do think that you're going to be going after something in, uh, in April, Scorpio. A lot of you may be working on, um, you may be finishing up a lot of little odds and ends because you got the seven of cups. So I feel like you're going to have a lot of things to do and you're going to kind of have to try to focus. You may have trouble focusing on one thing. Some of you may be feeling a little lazy. You may be daydreaming a lot. You may have, there may be an element of fantasy about April. Some of it may have to do with this relationship, especially if there's a long distance or if there's a distance factor with a relationship. We can sometimes idealize people at a distance um, and, uh, you know, really kind of slip into fantasy land. Um, 
But I do feel like those things that matter, you're really gonna gonna go after. Some of you may be needing a rest, Scorpio and April. You may just feel drained of energy. Some of you may even to ha catch a, a bit of a cold. So be care be careful. Look out for that. Um, that your, your energy levels don't get so low that you are susceptible to illness. Because um, I, I do feel like a lot of you need a break. Do listen to your body and, and take a, a week off if you can in April. Uh, to just recharge and rejuvenate because I feel like January, February, March, you've all been really, really just, you know, working hard. Um, and then you've been dealing with all this emotional stuff too. So I, I, I feel like you need a break. Your body and your mind and your heart needs a break and you need to spend time only on things that you want to do. And if that's nothing at all, if that's just kind of lacing around and watching some TV or listening to some music or reading a good book, you do that. You do what you want to do. Spend at least seven days in april doing only what you want to do scorpio you can sometimes be a workaholic i feel like i have to tell you this a lot take some time off take some downtime and relax you can go back to the to the mundania the mundania insania later um what can't be changed about april is a situation that has been suspended that has been in limbo is going to progressively get better and i think in april this wouldn't be coming up unless you were seeing signs of this because you have the hanged man you may be offered a new perception you may be seeing things from a different point of view and it could have to have to do with this information that's coming out that has been hidden from you um so I, I feel like that's going to give you a new perspective. It doesn't mean you're going to jump right in and want to kind of, you know, deal with this again or uh, anything like that. I do feel like there will be some continued, a situation that's been frozen or stagnant for a long time. Um, but there will be information coming to light that helps you see things in a new way or from someone else's perspective. And this is somehow going to show you a way forward. It may not happen in April. It may not happen for all of you in April. But I, I do think that you will be enlightened about something regarding this situation in April. And it will just kind of confirm, okay, this is just going to have to work out the way it works out. And it's going to have to work out in its own good time. And nothing I can do is going to change that. So acceptance is key in April about things you can't change. We can't always change, you know, things, no matter how much we'd want to, especially when other people and their karma and their free will is involved. And we just have to kind of wait for those things to resolve uh, themselves or when the divine timing is right for those things to resolve. But I do see some, some new beginnings for you, especially, um, on the relationship fronts, so even if one relationship kind of crashed and burned, there is there is a positivity coming in around new relationships and new beginnings um, with uh, new people, especially with putting to bed old conflicts. Uh, you know, there there is an element of that. There's a way to either avoid it or um, you know, offer a new perspective on it, or for you to receive a new perspective on it. Now, with the chariot in reverse. Um, again, some of you may be doing a staycation. I, I, I just feel like this is, this is a card of retreating and, uh, kind of, uh, backing off of a situation or not responding to a situation. Or maybe, you know, you, you, someone contacts you and you're just kind of daydreaming about the different things, the different ways that you can handle this. But then not really doing any of them. Just kind of sitting back and, hmm, I'm going to think about this for a little bit. I need some time to think about this. Um, some of you have a new idea for a creative project or for a new business because you have Ing here. And uh, that can mean that you are looking to start something new. It's a rune of birth and new beginnings. But it may not be time in April. You may be planning on getting back to that in May or, or, or just kind of jotting down ideas in April and then moving forward in May. For whatever reason, you just may have a lot of loose ends, again, with the Seven of Cups to, uh, to tie up in April and uh, are not going to be able to fully move forward full steam ahead until May. But that's okay. I feel like you need a slower time in April, Scorpio. I feel like you need some time to rest and relax and daydream. 
and do things that you want to do instead of having to deal with nasty people or deal with work or deal with um, you know a heavy work schedule so take some time off Scorpio that's the biggest message I'm getting here um, don't engage anymore with a no-win situation again it's gonna have to pan out in the way that it pans out but there will be new information coming to light for you regarding any situations that have been stagnant or kind of stuck in uh, you know previous uh, during the previous year or the beginning of this year I think April will bring new information to light about those specific situations that will be enlightening so that's what I see Scorpio for April 2015 good luck with that and I'll see you back here in May